another video on working with, I don't know, emotion code, body code, or belief code. We're going to see what comes up today. I'm working with Brian and um, we're just going to check it out and see what wants to come up. So uh, Brian, hello. And how you doing? I'm great. Okay, good. Carol is great. Um, all right, let's do this. I'm going to, well, let's just take a moment of silence, right? Just call in all that good energy to be with us, right? To work through me, to work with you, to really support clearing whatever energy is in the way of whatever topic we decide to work on today. And I think what I'll do is I'll just share my screen. Um, and this way I could take the notes and we can get started on all that. So let's see. All right. So we've done lots of work before, um, mostly body code stuff, a little bit of belief code. And now we're just going to see. I know there's three different areas you want to work on, either like um, I think you said self image, mm -hmm. right? The other one was um, self love. Mm -hmm. and maybe they come in together and then uh, money, finances, kind of thing like that. So let's just bring up some energy around it. So, with the self image stuff, what you know, what is it that you're feeling around that? Um, you know what, Brian, just think the thing that you around self image that you want to work on, because, you know, this is going out to whoever might be looking at it. Right. And some things are private. So when we get to it, when I say self image, you'll think about what that is for you. Right now. Do you feel the same way with the self love? Would you rather just think about what that is for you? Yeah. Okay. And then money and finances, same thing without elaborating. We can do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I'm working with your subconscious mind, right? Your subconscious mind knows everything about it. So we don't need to bring it up. But normally when it's private, I do have people tell me what's going on and, and you're used to doing that. So yeah. we don't have to do that now since recording this one. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to test these three different things. All the information is there. We don't need the words around it. So we're going to see which one to work on. Then we'll see like where to start with which one of these codes. So. I'm going to ask, let me just make sure I'm connected to you and can test. I know I have your permission already, so I can test with you. All right. So what is, what will give us the most relief today in this session that we're doing to move you forward in any area of your life right now? Right. So let's ask, does it have to do with self-image? No, self-love, <laughs> money and finances. All right. I, had a feeling. <laughs> I think that, I think your questions about self-image and self-love are not really energetically affecting you. I think that you just don't own all of the goodness of that for yourself. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> okay. So we're working on things around money and financing. We'll just drop this stuff down here, right? Maybe we work on that another day. So now uh, I wrote down belief system. Okay, this one, let me just move it here. So I'm going to send you these notes. I want to make sure they make sense. Now we're going to see is this something we need to work on with, um, like dive in straight away with emotion code? No. So do we need to go into this with the, with the body code? No. So, so it's belief code. And we did some belief work on this type of a thing before. So with all the information that you know, that you're still wanting to shift in a way that brings you much more prosperity, which belief system what will we be working on with today? Is this like a basic system? No. Okay. Is it split, parallel, tangled? Okay. Partial. So tangled. Let me just write that down and I'll tell you what that is. Okay. You may already know if you recall, because we've done some of this before, but for people who maybe never seen this before, we look at the a belief system as like the way a tree grows. You've got the leaves and the branches at the top, which we call negative programs. Then you come down into the trunk of the tree, which we term as limiting beliefs. So they're all limiting beliefs. We go into the root system, um, which would be a faulty core belief. And sometimes even into that soil level, like where the seed was originally planted, um, which is a faulty core identity. And that occurs. You take those things on between the ages of birth and seven years old. So really early on, some of these things are stuck. And then the other stuff builds on it. Um, so we have a tangled system, which means there were two root systems, like two trees that grew into one. So we'll have negative programs, limiting beliefs, but instead of one faulty core belief, there'll be two of those. And then maybe the faulty core identity. 
So let's find uh, negative programs. All right, you ready for all that? I'm ready. Okay, and I just want to preface because we did do some work on things around growing your business or I forget how it was termed, but we're looking for other aspects to that that need to be uncovered, right? To, to get this stuff out of the way so it's smooth sailing. Because um, I think you're probably looking for a more of a more, con uh, how do you say, consistent yeah. work coming in instead of like not not knowing for sure when the next one comes on, even though sometimes they're nice and big and huge, but right. like in the in-between time, you want to kind of just have you know, constant flow of things coming in. So we'll just put that energy out there. So whatever is preventing that from occurring, we want to call up these programs. So let's see what we have now. Um, you're good. You, you're following me, right, Brian? Yep. Okay, good. Uh, are we looking at something here on the right side, the left side in divine uh, right and left faith. So we're looking at divine faith. Uh, let me put it here. Okay. And let's see what we get in there. Negative statements, section one or two, section two. Uh, is it one, two, three, four, five, six? There's nothing to have faith in. So, I mean, we're, that belief is coming in regarding this whole thing with money and finances and, you know, co continual workflow. So you could feel like that at times, right? Not having faith in that. It's not faith in something else. We're talking about the topic that we're working on. So that's what we have there. Okay, another negative program. You know, it doesn't mean it's always related to some some um, religion belief or something. It's just faith we're talking about here. Okay, back to the beginning. Another negative program. Yeah, so is it to the right, to the left? Divine insight, communication, love. Okay, right side, left side. Family, parent, no, self. So we're in love and self. Okay, there's some kind of negative program there. That we want to find negative statements. All right, so we're we'll looking in one, two, three, four. So three, ten of them. Is it on? It's even. So is it two, four, six, eight, ten, eight? I'm not allowed to be happy. Well, that could put the brakes on stuff, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's really funny about this too, is because. I, I remember I was working on something for myself recently and I had so much stuff around happiness come up and I'm like, but I think I'm happy. Like what's going on here? But this is all like stuff under the surface, right? That you don't even pay attention to that can bring things up. I mean, there's days when you just don't feel happy, right? So negative programs. Uh, let's find another one. Let's see what we have. So we got that one. Uh, is there another one? There is. Uh, right side, left side, divine insight. Another another one in the love area. Right, not the right, it's the left. That's family, parents. Okay, self. Another love self. All right, so I can't I can't type today. <laughs> there we go. Negative statements, section one this time, two, three, four, section one. Ten of those. Is it on even? So is it two, four, six, eight, ten? Uh, I can't let love in. Oh. Now, sure, that can go out into other areas, but we're still talking about this thing with finances, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, that could that could put the brakes on stuff, right? Because those people coming towards you. You know, it's all you, you're you're the kind of guy who works from his heart, right? Like I do. So, you know, that love is a big aspect of all of that. So we have another negative program. Yes, we do. Now, Brian, you ever have any questions about anything that comes up or any insight you want to add to it? Just let me know. Just okay. speak up. <laughs> another negative program. OK, right side, left side, divine. OK. Right side, forgiveness, higher self, success, divine and success. Okay. Uh, negative statements, only two sections. One, two, section two. Got 11 of those. Is it an odd number? Yeah, so is it one, three, five? 
seven nine eleven. I'm afraid of success. Ooh, I would keep it away. You know, then there's all that other stuff, right? About success and money and evil and you know all that kind of stuff that could be in. So if you have things that are negatively associated to success, then yeah, maybe maybe it's something to be afraid of. And again, it's all underneath. It's all stuff we pick up along the way and trap this energy. Um, all right, so now we have all the negative programs. Yes. Okay, so is there a limiting belief? Yeah. So there could be one to three of these usually. Uh, something on the right. Nope, select. Divine insight. Oh, communication. Right side, left side, no. So it's right side, awareness, ego. All right, what are we going to find here? Negative statements. Uh, one, two, three, four, nine of them. Is it odd? Yeah. Is it one, three, five, seven, nine, seven? If I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. All right. So like, you know, it starts telling a story after a while and we can kind of look at it and see if it resonates in any way. If I'm not perfect. I'm not loved. So is there another limiting belief? Yep. Is it to the right? It is left side. No. So it's to the right power. And so these are all associated to solar to um, chakras, right? So divine is a crown chakra, insight, third eye, communication, the throat, love, the heart, power. That's that solar plexus, uh, you know, that creating what you want, your image going out, receiving back. Um, passion is sacral chakra and survival is the root. So we have power. And is it something to the right or to the left? Okay, ability, comparison, expectation, performance. We have power, performance. What do we find there? Uh, negative, positive. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> negative statements. Is it one, two, section three? Wanted to jump to the positive stuff. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. We got to get rid of all this stuff first. All right, there's eight of those. So will we find it in an odd number? It's an even number. So is it an uh, uh, even number? So is it two, four, six, eight? Um, I'm not doing a good job. Well, let's get rid of that. That belief will put the brakes on. Is there another limiting belief? Yep, we've got one more of these. What are we going to find? Uh, right side again, power, passion, survival. Okay, is it to the right, to the left? All right, now to the left. Codependency, sabotage, victim. Okay, there's a lot of categories with this one. Seven of them. Is it odd, even? Two, four, six. Section six, ten of those. Odds, even again. Is it two, four, six, eight, ten? Others dominate me. Does that, does that resonate in any way? Does it mean like in the field or in my workplace? I guess it could be anything to do. Oh, in the field, like the energy field, or you mean the workplace no, field? Just like, like others in my field of work, like who, like in you know in in the industry. It could be. I'm dominated like at my place of work, like when I go to work. Uh, you know, like, I think I think it could that. be either or, or even more for all we know. But I would say probably more likely, well, what do you feel like? I think it's the field more likely. Yeah, I, I feel like that too. Yeah. Okay. So others dominate me. And again, that's just in your, it, you know, it's an energy that's, that you've created that will maybe reflect back to you because we know that what goes out comes back in, right? Doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually not true. It's just what we put out there. That's that's the fun part of all of this. That's why it's like so great to get rid of the energies. Okay, so we got the negative programs. We got the limiting beliefs. Uh, now we're going to get two faulty core beliefs. So the first faulty core belief, where are we going to find that? 
uh, right side, not left side, divine insight. Ooh, communication. All right. Uh, not the right, left, authority, expression. Negative statements. All right, so one, two, three, four. So in section three, eight of them, odds, not odds, so it's even, two, four, six, eight. If I speak up, I'll lose friends. Hmm. Anything resonate with that one? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Now, another one. Uh, what's the second one here? Is it to the right or to the left? A divine insight communication of love. Okay. Right side this time, not the left, right? Right side. Okay. So children, others, partner, responsibility. Okay, one, two, three, section three, nine, odd, even, two, four, six, eight, six. I am unreliable. Unreliable. Now, probably it came from, you know, way early, but let's see if there's a faulty core identity. Is there? Yeah, faulty core identity. So we got the whole boat. We got everything. Um, multi core identity. So is it right side, left side, right side, left side? Divine insight, communication, love. Now remember, these come between birth and seven. We absorb it somehow. It's just we pick it up in some way. Uh, right side, left side, feelings, family, parents, self. Section one, two, section three, four. So three, okay, 10 of them um, on even, on even. So is it two, four, six, eight, ten? 10? I don't deserve happiness. Okay. So if we read them from the bottom up, I let me get my glasses on. I don't deserve happiness. I'm unreliable. If I speak up, I'll lose friends. Others dominate me. I'm not doing a good job. If I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. I'm afraid of success. I can't let love in. I'm not allowed to be happy. And there's nothing to have faith in. So they kind of tell a little bit of a story. Does does it overall resonate? Um, let's say everything except for the un I am unreliable. Okay. And remember, though, everything that, else definitely makes definitely makes sense. <laughs> but we look at them. We, we we look at these things when we look at them as ourselves right now at the age we are. But I mean, the, I'm not. I, I am unreliable. Could have got, you know, you, you could have picked that one up when you were like doing. Oh, I was unreliable as a child, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it comes from young, right? Or or even from like you know. Nobody would pick me for the basketball team because I never shot any hoops. You know, I mean, like, you know, where, where it comes from. All right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So anyway, that's what, that's what your subconscious mind told us. So that's what we're clearing all of that. But before we can pull all of them, I have to find the associations. Are there associations? Yeah, there always are. And usually we start with um, trapped emotions. I don't know if I need these yet. Um, so I'm just going to ask, do we have trapped emotions? We do. So we'll just go right to that chart. Okay. So what, what will we find? First T E trapped emotion. Um, uh, first trapped emotion. Is it in a or B? Is it on? It's even. So is it B two, four, B six? Is it pride, shame, shock, unworthy, worthless? So there's trapped energy of worthless. Now, we may or may not need to decode anything, so I'm just going to ask. Um, do we need to know any details about how this came about, when it came about, anything like that? No. So can we just release it? Yep, we can just release it. Worthless, <laughs> which I didn't spell right. I didn't spell right. Yeah. 
<laughs> I better put those glasses back on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. So worthless. We want to get rid of it. So let's do that. One. And I'm just going to swipe it away. Two. Ooh, just let the energy flow away. Three. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Good. So we just, you know, if, again, for anyone who's not seen this kind of work before, we're taking this magnet or even the electricity in your hand and just swiping from the top of your lip down any portion of your spine. You allow that energy to dissipate. That's through that main govern, uh, governing meridian, main meridian, governing meridian. It sends energy out to the whole body. So we released it. All right. Goodbye, worthless. All right. Something more. Is it another trapped emotion? Uh, is it A, B, odds, one, B1? Okay. Is it effort unreceived? No. Heartache, insecurity, overjoy, vulnerability. So that was trapped at some point. Do we need to know when and how this energy was trapped? No, anything we need to know. No, so we can just release it. All right, so we're going to wipe this one out too now. Just releasing this trapped vulnerability. Two. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Three. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. All right, releasing that energy, and it's released. Okay, what more? Another one? Trapped motion. All right, so A, B, odds, no, evens. B two four six. We like the B six today. I seems. <laughs> Is it pride, shame, shock? Now we have some shock. Oops. All right, trapped shock. Do we need to know when this was trapped? Oh, we got to know something about this. So, if anything pops into your mind that you want to test, we can do that. And if you don't want to say what out loud, since it's being recorded, I can just test what you're thinking. So anything pop in? Got nothing. Okay. So let's see this. We need to know something. Okay. So let's find an age. Uh, Brian, I forgot your age. 44. Okay. Did this occur between the ages of up, uh, one, to thir one to 20? Between one and 20? No. Okay. Between 20 and 30? No. Oh, 30 and 40. Something a little more recent. 30 and 40, 40 and 44, 30 and 40. Between 30 and 35, 35 and 40, 35, 36, 37, 39. So we're looking at age 39. And of course, you know, it could be like 38, 39, 40. It's like a three year window. Do you recall anything that could have brought some shock energy that would be trapped? So, what is that five years ago? Yeah, it was like probably like right before the pandemic, almost like the year before the pandemic. So that's like twenty. Yeah. Um. That uh, we're talking in in um. I guess it could be anything, anything that where you felt that shock, but maybe it it, it could very well be directly related to your to your work or finances. Well, I fractured four vertebrae in my spine that year whoa okay let's that ask <laughs> like yeah and uh in in I the way that it happened work a lot because uh, yeah I, I was at a trampoline park with my nephew and i landed wrong on the trampoline and i fractured four vertebrae but i was like i couldn't work for like ages after that oh okay so let's just ask is this the, this experience that you're describing when this shock was yeah that's it this that's when this was trapped okay so uh injury to spine you said four vertebrae yeah okay so that's what this is yeah so let's release that shock energy that's still trapped in there somewhere oh hold on anything else we need to know about it no so we can just release it one oh yeah that felt good two three Oh, yeah. Let's add some extra love. I love to add extra love whenever we want. Just do it. Okay. So we got that. That's released. Yeah, that, that can't be uh, helping matters, right? Oh, it's not helpful. Okay. All right. Is there another trapped emotion? Oh, look at that. Another trapped emotion. No. Is there something more? Yeah. So we'll go to the body code. Um. Yeah, I usually see more trapped emotions, but that all we have is three. That's it. 
Okay, so what do we have next? Something on the right, no, on the left, energy. Usually it's energy area. Uh, right side, left side, post-traumatic. No, we could have had some trapped energy from that, but that didn't, so far that didn't come up. Offensive, mental, something in the mental area. Right side, left side, will to know it. So it's a broadcast message, right? A signal that you're em emitting. You're sending out this signal. We don't like the ones that don't serve us because they're going to bring us back that negative thing. Okay, so now, is it in A, B, or C? What do we have? Six rows. C, is it odds, evens? Two, four, six. Is it resist me? Look, take away my power. Tease me. Treat me like a child. Yell at me. Take away my power. Oh, I got goosebumps. Okay, anything we need to know and understand about this one? No, associated, no. Just, yeah, wipe it out. Let's wipe it out. One. Uh, two, three. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? Let's just download. Let's just ask for a download, right? Downloading into every single cell of your body what it feels like to really, truly just be in your power, stand in your power, and create whatever it is you want with your business. Or in, not even with your your business. Yes, absolutely. And even any other area in which you want to work on something, some bright idea and trusting that, you know, this is going to bring finances in and just open that door to you just being successful in your power, creating whatever you choose to create, whether it's through your whole business right now as a makeup artist or some, any other area. Okay. Whew. I feel a little spinny on that. So we released the take away my power and downloaded pretty much what it what it feels like to stand in your power, right? In any area. In any area. We don't just we don't want to just limit that when we could download it. No limitations. Let's take it in. Stand in your power wherever, whether it's personal, business, whatever. Okay, so something more. Another is there another association? Yeah. Uh, to the right, to the left, energy. Uh, right side, left side, post traumatic, offensive, mental, back there. Okay, right, no, left, a will to no. So another broadcast message. Right. Is it a B odds? Uh, B one, three, five. Okay, I need to be rescued. Nope, I want to disappear. Nope, no one cares. Nope, no one respects me. People don't want me. Yeah, so we don't want to have that happen, right? You want those people to want you. I need you here for this, whatever. Shoot. Um, all right, people don't want me. Anything we need to know about how this came about? Are there any details we have to know on this one? No, we don't need to know anything at all. Nope. So we can release it. Okay. Just getting rid of people don't want me, right? Letting that leave your system. Send it to the light. Just really just deleting it. All right. Released. Is there another association? Got another one. Uh, right side, left side, energy again. To the right, allergy or intolerance. Right side again, left, no, right. Idea, allergy. Okay, so an allergy to some idea. Seven. Okay, are we looking in A, B, C, odds? One, three, five, seven, C seven. Oh, look at this. Look at this category. Yes. Is the idea allergy to making money? No. To saving money? No. To receiving money. There we go. Charging money, receiving awards, receiving gifts and other. Receiving money. Well, we don't want that. We want to correct the faulty connection to receiving money. 
Uh, do you ever do you ever feel that you've that do you ever feel that in any way that you're conscious of? I think so, yeah. Okay. And even sometimes you do a favor for like for someone and you're like, no, don't worry, you don't have to give it back to me. <laughs> I was like, I can do the favor for you, but like you can't really do it for me. Uh, you can't give it back to me. Anyway, whatever it is. So we need to know details about how this came about or anything about it that he needs to know consciously. No. Um, can we just let go of it? Let's let go of it. Releasing that allergy, not even releasing it. We're correcting the faulty connection, like rewiring you so you can receive the money, right? Getting rid of that faulty connection, fixing it up, enabling you to just be like, yeah, okay. I can give it. I can take it. It's two-way street. Okay, got it. Uh, I'm going to say corrected. Faulty connection to the idea, you know, that's what it is. Okay, is there something more? Oh, got another one. Let's find another one. Okay, right, left, energy. Uh, is it on the left? Yes. So mental, to the right, to the left. Oh, a will to. Okay, so what's this will to? A, B, uh, seven of them. So is it on? It's even. Two, four, six, B6. Um, you have a will to obey, a will to be powerful, a will to be protected. Oh, I'm sorry, we're in no will. Did I go to the right place? Hold on. I'm going to start it over. Okay. Because I looked at the no will to chart and I wrote will to, so something's wrong there. Okay. Let me just drink and ground myself. When that kind of thing happens, it's because my energy gets so expanded that if you're not really focused and like one thought is here, one thought, is, it, 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 the wires get confused. So we want to go back to find what is it? First of all, is there something more? Yeah. Okay. Right side, left side, energy. Okay. Uh, to the right. No, to the left. post pensive mental. Okay, right, no, left, will to. Okay, so it is a no will to. I was at the right chart, but somehow I wrote will to. Anyway, it's just better to be safe, you know, make sure I'm in the right spot. All right. Seven of them. We are in no will. Okay. Is it in A or B? It's in B. Odds, even, two, four, six. Okay. I was in the right spot, but I just had to make sure. I don't want to do the wrong thing. So is it no will to obey, to be powerful, to be protected? No will to obey, no will to be powerful, no will to be protected. I don't, I don't really know how that plays in. Neither. Maybe it's even, maybe it's even having that protection in, in spirit to be there helping and guiding. Like if you don't have that will, then you can't let that in get the great inspiration. I don't know. Do we need to know details around this? No. Okay. So um, we can release it. All right. No will to be protected. One, two, three. Yeah. So the message I'm kind of getting right now while we did that was, um, Kind of like not allowing support or like something outside of you to assist you and move, help you move forward or whatever, something like that. Um, does that does that make sense? Does anything make sense about that one? <laughs> I don't think so, but I don't know. I'll have to think about it. All right. So we don't even have to know, but that your subconscious mind took us there actually twice. So it's something we needed to release. Yeah. Is there something more? Yeah, we got another one. All right. Uh, it's right now, left. Energy. Okay. Is it left? No, it's right. Allergy, emotional, a reverberation. Okay. Right side, left side, seeking heart, current symptom. Well, the current symptom would be the lack of, of constant work coming in, right? Or, or, um, a flow of work that you can rely on because you get work, but you want to have it to be 
consistent. Yeah, like no question, like when's the next one coming? It's it's always coming. There's always another one. Okay, so that is that the current symptom? It more is. More frequent, I would like. Say, say that again? And like more, like, yeah, and more frequent. Yeah, yeah. Consistent, frequent, uh, reliable, like, you know, I know because in my business too, there could be times where there's, there's not much happening and other times where there's a lot happening. Right. That's, that's and I it. like it to be a little more con like even or consistent or that kind of thing. So anyway, so uh, current symptom is, I don't even know how to say that. Um, I'm going to say inconsistent. I don't know how you say that. Yeah, inconsistent. Uh, work schedule. I'll put it that way, right? Coming in. You're your own boss there. Okay. So is that, is that, say that again? I'd say flow instead of schedule. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Some, oh, there's something more. I love how they're coming up in the body code. Usually, this is kind of reverse. Usually I have a few body code, but mostly trapped emotions. I like this. We're digging into some specifics around a lot of this stuff. Okay, so is there more? There is. Um, right, left, energy, still in energy. Uh, right side, not left side. Post-traumatic. Well, we could ask the obvious. Well, first of all, do we need to know? We don't need to know. But since we had that thing come up before with when you hurt your vertebrae, we can ask, uh, is this energy related to the time when you had that accident that we spoke about earlier and you injured your back? Yeah. I was wondering if that would come up too, because we that was the shock energy, right? Yeah. So now we're just getting rid of that post-traumatic. Oh, I'm jumping the gun again. Oh, my God. I'm too excited. I love working with you. Right side left. Yeah. Physical trauma. Yeah. Sometimes I know, but I jump ahead and... But I got to make sure that, you know, maybe I know the, I don't know. Anyway, we're in the right spot. And it was physical trauma. And it was the, um, uh, we'll say the experience with your back. We already talked about. Okay, so we're releasing now that trauma energy related to that same incident. Yes. Okay, good. Let's do that. Yeah. That feels good. I feel it moving already. Ah, two, three. That's all we need is three, but I'm just going to do a few more just because it feels good. Thank you, God. Thank you. whole lot of extra love going in there. Okay, good. All right. So that's released. Yeah. Okay. Is there something more? No, that was the end of that. Yeah, so we had a couple of trapped emotions, some broadcast messages, idea allergy, no will, current symptom, post-traumatic. Good. So are there any other associations that we need to look at before we can pull the beliefs? No. So we can just pull all the beliefs out now. So I'm just going to go one by one and pull them all out. And then we'll test afterwards to make sure that we got it and that it's no longer true. Like right now, if we said, is this true for you? Uh, there's nothing to have faith in. Yeah. I'm not allowed to be happy. Yeah. I can't let love in. Yeah. So we'd get a yes for all of them because that's what we, what we found. So now we want to release them. I'm just going to keep going down the list and we'll just pull them all out, send them to the light, let them go, delete them. Okay. So, and we're going to three, just keep swiping. I'm just going to keep swiping. So we're releasing now that there's this belief that there's nothing to have faith in, right? Letting it go, giving it to God, giving it up, letting it go, deleting it. Okay, we want to release, I'm not allowed to be happy. Take that belief, send that one to the light. Making room for all the happiness to come in. Okay, let's let go of, I can't let love in. Yeah, definitely sending that one away. All of them, we're just going to release them all. Okay, thank you, thank you. And now we're going to get rid of this, I'm afraid of success. Yep, giving it up. Letting it go, deleting it forever. Ooh, felt something in my heart on that one. Okay, so let's now release the, uh, if I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. Uh-huh, get rid of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. 
And let's do the, I'm not doing a good job. All right, pull it, let it go. I've seen a lot of images of your work and they're beautiful. <laughs> okay, go with that, please. Uh, now let's do uh, Others Dominate Me. Yeah, let's take that away. We don't want to pull that in anymore. We're letting it go, giving it to the light, releasing it forevermore. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if I speak up, I'll lose friends. All right, let's give it up. Delete it. Take it away. All right. And now uh, I am I am unreliable. Take that away. Yep. So even if you had that really busy schedule, you're totally reliable because when you commit, you're there. You do you do an excellent work, and everybody's happy. Okay. And now um, I don't deserve happiness. Take it away. Send it away. Release it forever. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. So I'm going to go through each one of these. We're going to see if they're still true. So are any of these statements true for you? There's nothing to have faith in. No. Nope. Uh, I'm not allowed to be happy. I can't let love in. I'm afraid of success. Uh, if I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. Nope. I'm not doing a good job. Others dominate me. If I speak up, I'll lose friends. I am unreliable. And I don't deserve happiness. No. So they're all gone. Whew. Shake those off. All right. Thank you. Now, let's ask if we need to replace any of those. So in this whole system, are there any beliefs to be replaced? Yes, there are. Do we need to replace any of these negative programs? No. Okay, we don't have to replace those. Do we need to replace any in the limiting belief area? Not even that. Do we need to replace the faulty core belief that if I speak up, I'll lose friends? No. How about the faulty belief I am unreliable? No. How about the I don't deserve happiness? Okay, so we're only replacing one, replacing the bottom one, that core belief, the core identity one that everything else got attached to. Okay, let's go back to belief code. All right, so. Is the replacement for this here on the charts? Yes. So we'll find a good one here. We could always just say the, the flip side of it, but let want to find out what the chart says. Sure. All right. So we're looking here to the right side, not to the left side in the divine area. Okay. Uh, right side, left side, faith, God. So we have divine and God. Positive statements. Um, Section one, two, three, or four. Is it one, two, three, four, three? Section three, 10 of them, odd, even, two, four, six, eight, 10. I'm always connected to God. You know, one way I like to look at that is that uh, when we have that connection, right, and we're open. We can receive all kinds of information that takes us exactly where we need to go, right? We ask a question, get an answer. So that's a good one. So we're going to download that right now, that I'm, I'm always connected to God. Okay. So we're just asking that that belief, that way of being now come into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions, all timelines, Everywhere and in every aspect of you, mind, body, spirit, like just really soaking this in, I am always connected to God. <sighs> okay, so is this true for you? I am always connected to God. Yeah. All right, good. So, so we did that, right? We pulled out the beliefs. We only needed to replace one. So everything's good. But there's a, a process I like to do. They call it defragging. Like if we didn't need to replace anything, we'd have to like fix the energy so that you're not like wacky out of whack for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that visual because it's a nice visual. So you just, just imagine, right? Just imagine, and you can swipe with me if you want to, that there's this beautiful bookcase, right? And there's all these books on there. But each of these books are just different beliefs. And so we just pulled out a whole bunch of them, right? And now the shelf is looking a little messy. There's books falling over. There's big gaps. So what we're doing is we're just pushing everything together, 
They did. We did have that replacement of a belief one in there, right? We're just making this shelf beautiful, right? Polishing it up and making space, most importantly, making space for all the good things, all the new stuff to come in, all that stuff that will be supporting you, taking you further, allowing you to move through your path here, creating what you want. All right. All right, thanks. So we get that. Yeah. All right. So we got that. Um nothing else to do then. We got is let me just ask, did we get everything we needed to get to pull this whole thing out? Yeah. Did we leave anything behind? No. Uh is there any any trapped emotions or anything that would undo the work that we just did here today? No. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Um is there any processing time? Not even a processing time. You're like, you're just good to go. <laughs> okay. So uh, how do you feel? I feel good. All right, good. You know what? Let me, let me not, let me take the screen share off. Um, yeah. Well, let's see what happens, right? Let's see what yeah. develops. Um, yes, yep. I think we hit some other angles. Um, you know what I'll do? When I give you these notes, I'll copy out the other, because I think we did, I think we hit, business or finances two different times yeah uh, with belief code right so i'll copy those out for you too and you can see them and see if they mm -hmm. whatever and it's kind of nice to look at so yeah, yeah i don't think we ever did it with the consistency though we never like hit it from that angle yeah and that that's the thing right uh-huh yeah, yeah. Really. i know that feeling yeah, I used to I used to be a graphic artist and I was freelance. I used to work for companies, you know, ad agencies, but also uh, freelancing. And that mm -hmm. was the thing, too. You know, it's like, yeah, it's either like all or nothing or here and there, you know, and it was I'm like, I'd like you to have some consistency. So I'm not constantly wondering what's coming next. I know right. that feeling. Yeah. yeah. Um, OK, so good. So I think we'll wrap it up for today. Mm -hmm.